Good morning chaps. Welcome to the brewery on a Saturday. So in the background, gently purring away, is the glycol system. Now I've turned her on this morning for one final leak test before we go ahead and insulate all the pipes. I've also turned the chiller on this time round to have a little quick test with the thermo gun and uh, have a look at what temperature difference or variation there is in the tanks where the actual chiller plates are. Now bear in mind we haven't got any glycol in the system this time round so we're just going to be using water. Well let's get straight to the test. So first thing I'm going to do is just shine the thermometer and pick up a general reading in the tank which is around 15-16 degrees and then we'll move across onto the cold plate which is there and we can see we've got a dramatic decrease it's down to 9 degrees so it's definitely definitely cooling inside the tank well now we've confirmed that it works the concept is sound it's time to pull these fermenters forwards and lag all this pipe work one thing I might be addressing as well hear that the outlet for the uh, cooling system is blowing directly into the path of the entrance and exit so I might jig this in the future and turn it on sideways that will mean a few more bits of pipe and connectors but I'm not going to do that today it's not going to be a problem so we'll just pull these forwards and lag So before I completely remove all of the tanks to insulate them, what I'm actually doing is just adding an extra valve for each one. So on each fermenter, we have a valve on the fermenter side, and then we also have a valve on the supply side. So if I need to remove any fermenters individually, then they're gonna come away in a modular form. So I can isolate here and here, and then on the supply, disconnect, like so and then everything's isolated and we can still keep the system charged and all I have to do is crank up the fermenter and just slide her out and then we've gained access to the back or we can do whatever we need to do with the fermenter to service it and while this is isolated these tanks can still have product in them so I also want to make sure everything's modular as well. Uh, if we do move premises in the future, I can just disconnect and pull everything away. So all of the electrics for each fermenter is going to be housed on the fermenter itself, not a central control panel. So we can just pop them off, cart them away, put them somewhere else and just rig them up to another system if needs be or whatever. Very simple, very modular, very mobile, that's how I want to keep it. Or if we decide to change the layout, I don't have to run miles and miles of pipe, we just disconnect, drag the whole thing across, drop it down, reconnect. Simples. Right, it's three o'clock and uh, I've got quite a bit of the pipe lagging on. As you can see, looking pretty smart. So this will insulate all the pipe work. That's going to run through there for the cold room next door and to chill the CLT. And uh, yeah, anyway, distracted myself. So we had a delivery come this afternoon. It's all the stuff for the control boxes. So I put the STCs in there and quickly drilled a hole for a cable gland. I've got them all in the boot. I'm going to take them home and wire them up this afternoon, this evening. They should be ready to go then when I come back and uh, all tested and working so we can just fit them onto the tanks. So I just need to nip down to Wilco's and get some terminal blocks and then we're off home to do that folks. Sounds fun doesn't it? I'll be having a beer. I'm home 
we have the boxes that I just told you about. Oh, and Stuart's gonna kill me, but I won this. I completed my jobs and I won it. Look at that, mind control, double IPA, 8%. Let's get some light on the situation. Look at what's in that bad boy. This looks amazing. Can't wait to get that stabbed inside myself. So yeah, I brought all the equipment back. Got the chocolate blocks, terminal blocks, and we're gonna build these control panels up. Already whacked the STC 1000 in there and a cable line, like I said. I'm not gonna film it, so I've got a video on the internet. If you just search control on my channel, you'll find a two-part series where I build these. So this is gonna be the all singing, all dancing one that actually has the heat inside connected as well. What I'll do is show you what we've actually got on tomorrow's vlog. So until then, I'll see you then. So.